Hey guys, so I have here my Harman Kardon Neo portable Bluetooth speaker and today I want to show you how you can replace the battery of the small speaker here. Okay, so let's get started right away and we're going to take a look at the back side. And here we have those four little rubber feet here and we're going to have to remove a couple of those. So this is really easy actually, I'm just using here my little pocket knife. You can just pry them out so they're just glued in there and they pop out really easily. And underneath there, you're going to find a small Phillips screw. See this back there? So we're going to have to remove that. And there's a total of three screws. So uh, the bottom left is just a, a fake. So there's no screw underneath there. So we can just leave that plugged in. Okay, so then we're going to uh, work our way around. Again, with my pocket knife, I'm going to pry the back cover off just a little bit. So I'm just going all the way around to uh, loosen a couple of clips there and then right in the middle of the back that's where we have a bunch of adhesive tape so that's why the cover doesn't come off immediately so you have to kind of peel it off carefully and then it's eventually going to come off just you know, give it a little time and it will peel off okay so this is what that looks like now we have here four bigger screws in the corners so we're going to remove those four screws and then next we have to remove the loop here. So there's two small screws on the top here. And once you remove that, you're going to find here this little plastic piece. Make sure you don't lose it accidentally. So just put it aside together with those two screws and then we can just pull out the fabric loop here. Okay, so next we can pry out the uh, housing here. It was really easy. Make sure you don't lose the buttons that are falling off at this point. Now here we have the uh, speaker. So this is the entire unit that is still waterproof at this point. Now we do have eight more screws that hold this cover here in place. So we want to remove those now. Now you have to use a little bit of force to uh, get the back cover off here. Since there's a seal that holds those two components together I'll give it a little time, but eventually you're going to be able to open it up. And just be careful when you lift off the cover, because there's a couple of wires going uh, on between those two parts here. And one of them is the wire that goes to the battery. And there's a connector that we can disconnect, but uh, there's a little bit of glue on there that makes sure that they don't uh, accidentally disconnect. So I'm going to use a knife to uh, cut that uh, glue out, and then I can easily pull the plug up out here and there's a second wire here that's going to the bluetooth antenna you can really easily pry that off by just lifting from underneath okay so now here we do have the battery these are the values for it here's the 1000 milliamp hours at 4.2 volts okay so do you want to have a replacement for that so uh, make sure when you remove this battery you have to kind of pry underneath it it's glued in really well um, be really careful when you do that in case there's still charge in it. Uh, you don't want to really puncture this battery. Right now I'm, my battery is still new so uh, I'm not going to take this out. I don't want to take the risk of damaging the uh, battery here. Okay, so once you have your new battery installed, uh, make sure you have the antenna connector reattached here. Because otherwise you may have really bad reception if you forget to do that later on. And then also of course plug in the uh, battery again also adding some more hot glue to make sure it really doesn't come loose later on okay so now we just continue with the reassembly we attach the uh, eight screws the smaller screws here on the sides and just putting them in and then attaching them and tightening fastening them later on and don't forget to uh, attach the button panels here on the sides in case they came loose. Uh, the one on the left side, the bigger one is really clear. Make sure that you have it the right orientation on the one with the power and the Bluetooth button. And then just drop in the uh, speaker unit here. Make sure you have it in the right orientation so the uh, charging port is on the bottom. And then we attach the loop again, just push it back through. And then uh, it's really easy to uh, attach the uh, plastic piece and the screws 
when you put the screws into this plastic piece first and then just drop this entire component in there and then you can easily screw them down. Okay, so now the four screws that go into the corner, we have to attach those. Those are the bigger screws. And then just firmly press the cover back on. It should snap into position relatively easily. You may have to use a little bit of force, but it's okay to get it reattached. And then the three last three screws that you should still have, put those back in and uh, make the rubber feet back in. They should still be sticky, otherwise add some glue to help them stay in place. Yeah, so now we are already done. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you find this video helpful. If you have any more questions or comments, then please write a message below.